Hey everybody, I'm going to give you a, an overview of this 1970 Chevelle. Uh, originally in Malibu, uh, it was converted and uh, has almost everything an SS would have, including 12 volt rear end, uh, all the badging and stuff you'll see on it. But uh, take a look at it. If you got any questions, you can give us give us a call. But uh, I want to give you an honest view of of what I see on this car. Now, now just a little background. This does not have a motor transmission in it, but the motor and transmission does come with it. It is a 396 big block and uh, 400 transmission and uh, a bunch of other odds and ends stuff, but it's got full headers, uh, full exhaust and all that. But uh, uh, check out the other videos for the, the engine transmission section of that. And, uh, but right now I'm gonna give you a body overview of this car and uh, it is in fairly nice shape. It is not a Bondo bucket, so it's a solid car. Uh, just take a magnet and it'll stick just about anywhere on this car. Uh, we were told it had all new GM sheet metal put on it uh, by the, the uh, original owner. And then the second owner got it and uh, had it painted this, this uh, maroon and, and black stripe color. But, uh, but it is a very solid car, very straight car. Give you the best overview I can. Also point out some of the things on it. We do encourage you to come take a look at it. It does have a few dings and scratches and stuff like that on it. But uh, uh, just one thing I see right there. There's a small ding in the in the panel there. Uh, that's about the worst of it for the side. Uh, if, if you're going to do a repaint. Uh, this would be an awesome car to do that with because it is so straight. You know, right there's a, a little nick on the, the door edge. But uh, right there's a little, little scratch right on the door edge there. SS396 badge. He said the, the prior owner said that the paint job was somewhat of an amateur job. It looks pretty good. You get up and start inspecting it, cleaning on it, and you'll start seeing stuff on it. But uh, there's some fish eyes in the, in the black here. You can see those as they go through. Again, it, the car is, is very nice, very straight, and uh, a paint job would make this car magnificent. So. Um, Check this out, uh, got the badges over here, got a little scratch over the, the wheel well there. Over here we got the same thing here on the door jam or the hinge side of the door jam. Same thing right there, a little nick, a little nick. Got a, pop there. Tires and wheels seem to be in fairly good shape. This passenger side rear uh, does have a small leak and we'll probably have that checked out and fixed. You know, there's a seam here and it looks like there's a crack there. The roof of the car is in pretty good shape. It's got a few scratches and a few fish eyes. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, fairly good shape. All the windows and, and stuff are in good shape in this. Trunk lid. Uh, a lot of the same stuff you see on the, the hood. There's some spots in it. For the most part, this car is very nice, very straight. I got the trunk popped there, so we can take a look at that. But uh, trunk lid, no rust on the trunk lid. Pull this back here. This 
just a lot of surface stuff there. Uh, CD changer. We'll do a separate video for the interior and it is very nice. Center console, all that. But that's a basic overview of the the outside of the car. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, give us a call and uh, watch the other videos for the engine compartment and the interior of the car.